All right, once you start to get users for your app or your project, you're gonna want a staging environment because problems happen when you go from dev to prod. You probably know you'll, it'll work perfectly fine on localhost 3000 and then when you push to main, it gets deployed and all of a sudden something's broken. Um, especially middleware, I find, tends to break the most. But regardless, shit tends to break in that transition. And I'm going to show you how you can actually fix that. Um, because when I went to learn how, there's really nobody talking about how to do it. It's relatively simple, but let's just talk about it. So what we have is, um, all right, first thing you're going to do is configure how you want to set up your staging environment, okay? Because you can do it with either a subdomain or a main domain. So let's let's just talk about how this works. So I have a middleware function that basically, let me show you the structure of my application first. We have a web engine, a, a website at webengine.site. This is the company website. Don't, uh, don't look at this, I was just experimenting. Then we have a, you know, obviously everything at localhost 3000, but then I also have atomicrapsoli.com this is the first client on a custom domain website. So this is um, our code base showing as a custom website on a custom domain. And then we also have atomic reps only dot um, web engine dot site. Sorry for my typing, dude. I'm literally fucking retarded. Um, so as you can see, we went to that subdomain and it's also showing the same website. So this has to work. Um, basically, the reason I show you that is what you could do is you could have dev is going to be localhost 3000. And then um, staging is going to be like something like staging dot your main domain. And then production would be that main domain. OK, and this is this is pretty straightforward. This is pretty easy. However, I have issues where, you know, obviously I'm using subdomains. I literally have a wildcard domain. And so I don't want to have any subdomains um, if I can help it. So what I'm doing is I bought a new domain, which is webengine.live. So if we go to that domain, we set it up exactly the same way that we set up um, a different, um, where is it, webengine.live. We set it up the same way that we set up a typical domain. Um, so what I did is I added, I actually I'm using custom name servers, but you can just do, you know, an A record pointing to the, the host, like at, and then writing to um, 76762121 for Vercel. And what you would do in your Vercel project settings is you would head over to domains and you would make sure that this new domain that you've added, so whether it's staging.yourdomain.com or... Um, stage or you know your domain hyphen staging.com whatever um you want to set this up as a custom domain in your project okay and then just go to that domain and make sure it's actually loading up so then what we're going to do is we'll come into our project and what command we ran is actually dude i need to uh I need to figure out what so this is this is the command i ran to actually set up the staging environment. So first we're doing git checkout b staging. So what this does, I guess, is it creates the branch staging. Um, but normally git checkout lets you like look, you like switch basically your project to whatever branch it is. So I can do git checkout staging now and it'll pull up the most recent versions of staging in my editor. I don't really know how it works. I don't know if it duplicates it or whatever, but then we're just at git add, git commit, and then git push origin staging, okay? And so that's gonna push everything in your project to the staging branch, which is new, okay? Once that's done, then you should be able to come over to your domain that you've just added and select staging as the domain, okay? So once you have staging set up, then all you have to do is like, basically every time that you push to um, the staging domain, it's actually going to trigger a deployment. So as we can see, I pushed to staging and that triggered this deployment. And then here's kind of the part I was curious about is like how to manage it. So if I run git status, <laughs> what is this? 
All right, whatever. Oh, because I added comments. Okay, that's fine. Um, anyways, I'm on the main branch. And so typically, if I if I were to make a change, I would just do git add, git um, commit, add a message, some changes, and then I would do git push. And this just pushes straight to main because a lot of the changes I make are not going to break anything. So I'm just pushing straight to main. Maybe it's like an API fix or whatever. So that's fine. I can just push straight to main. But when you want to test something in staging, like if you know it's probably going to fuck up, what you do is you can have like, you can do git add, git commit, dash m all the same, but then you do uh, git push origin staging. And then this is going to push all the state, all the changes from your current branch main, which isn't synced to the remote branch yet, but it's going to push all that to the remote staging branch. That's going to trigger a build in Vercel, and then you can visit it on your new staging domain and once that's all good to go then you just run this again you don't have to redo git add git commit dash m you literally just do git push and that'll push straight to main once you're good on the staging so this is not the normal way to do it ChatGPT was telling me dude you should basically or not ChatGPT, but uh this guy over here i had a long ass conversation about this let me zoom out so it's normal but yeah i had a, whole, I had a long conversation and it was like you should create a pull request, you know, push to, to staging and then create a pull request and then merge. I'm like, I ain't doing all that because uh, honestly, I just push straight to main most of the time. And then sometimes I need to use staging, not all the time, but sometimes. And so when the sometimes arises, then I will push, I'll do git push origin staging and that's going to push it to staging. And then I can make sure that it all works in a sort of production environment. And then when I'm comfortable, then I can push to main. And that's how I like to do it.